There is new information tonight into a recent 12 News investigation. It exposed a potentially deadly hazard in a commonly used home building material. Now that report showed how newer lightweight wood floor beams can quickly collapse in a house fire. But now 12 News Kent Wainscott has discovered the problem may be even worse than anyone imagined. Our 12 News investigation put a spotlight on a serious hazard that only some in the firefighting community were aware of. Now we're finding out that the danger may be even greater and that more lives may be at risk. There were no flames visible, just thick smoke when Green Bay firefighter Joe Brinkley Shudware and her partner, Lieutenant Arnie Wolf, began to search this burning home in 2006. That's when she heard a crack in the floor beneath them. We went down to our knees and we took maybe another step when the floor gave way. That was it. The two crashed into the basement, which quickly flashed over, trapping them in the fire. I got to that point where I thought, I'm going to die in here. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm not going to make it out of here. She was badly burned, but she did make it out alive. Lieutenant Wolf did not. Fire professionals say his death and several others in recent years can be attributed to lightweight manufactured wood beams like this. They're used in a majority of new homes constructed or remodeled today. They're strong and inexpensive, a perfectly good building material until they catch fire. Well, News recently tested a manufactured beam alongside a traditional solid wood beam and found the manufactured wood burned through and failed in about 15 minutes, just the time firefighters might be entering a burning home. While the solid wood beam was still strong, fire professionals across the country told us that test highlighted a serious concern about the type of beams used in millions of homes. They're strong and they're inexpensive, and they're easy to put in, and they do the job. Unfortunately, from our point of view as firefighters, they're a killer. But it turns out our 12 News test may have only scratched the surface of the problem. And the firefighters, one was uh, crawling right here, the one behind them was standing up. Using a million dollar grant from the Department of Homeland Security to study firefighter safety, Underwriters Laboratories in Illinois, together with the Chicago Fire Department, took the floor beam test to another level. The test we conducted was what the folks here at Underwriters Laboratories refer to as a parking lot test, a small sample on a small scale. But here, they do it big in a very scientific way. In this room-sized furnace, where the temperature can reach more than 2,200 degrees. With a fully furnished room above and using mannequins suited up in full firefighter gear, UL engineers lit that furnace to simulate a basement blaze and to test the beam supporting the floor. They found the heat in the room above would give firefighters there little indication of the danger just below their feet. And the temperature readings showed very clearly that the floors got warm, but certainly not something that you would consider to be disastrous in a very short period of time. And sure enough, the floor would get a little warm and then collapse. The UL test showed that in a full basement fire, unprotected, uncovered, lightweight I-beams could fail and the floor could collapse in just six minutes or less. The head of research and development for the Chicago Fire Department says that quick of a collapse endangers not only firefighters, but anyone who may be trying to escape a burning home. The public needs to understand that these products have an effect on their potential survivability of a fire within their home. Milwaukee native John Dregenberg of UL says simply covering the beams extends the amount of time that they can last in a fire, which is something he says building code officials across the country may want to consider. We want code officials to look at that so they can decide how they might want to modify their building codes in the future to maybe require having a layer of wallboard in the basement. A costly solution perhaps, but one that Chicago's chief of fire training believes is worth it. There is no such answer to me that uh, it's going to cost more money. People's lives, you don't put a price tag on someone's life. Over the past few months, scores of fire professionals have written to comment on our investigation. A firefighter from Waterford, New York, writes to say that the video from our test, he believes, will save lives. Closer to home, Assistant Chief Timothy O'Neill of the Delavan Fire Department says our report put the topic center stage, and he too believes it will help save lives. And an instructor at the National Fire Academy says he believes our investigation will definitely help to keep firefighters safe. That's a small sample. This is a look at how widespread the response has been. The marks on this map represent fire departments all across the country and into Canada that have requested a copy of our report to use as a training tool. From small town volunteer departments to Chicago and New York City, some of the biggest departments in the world. Safety trainers and first responders are now using that report to better prepare and protect firefighters.
And that response continues. In fact, just today, a new fire chief uh, from New Jersey wrote to say that he conducts training sessions across the country using our report. He tells us his New Jersey community will vote next week to require homes to have a triangle-shaped sign on the exterior of the building to indicate that, that it's constructed with these lightweight materials, something that's already being done on commercial buildings there. He says that will help firefighters know exactly what they're up against before they enter a burning home. Now, obviously, concern here. Yeah. Concerned by homeowners, how concerned should they be if they have this in yeah, their home? You know, maybe not so much concerned as just aware. Sprinklers obviously work, but the, you heard the experts say mm -hmm. that e even something as simple as covering it with, uh, with a piece of drywall can keep the flame away. That'll make the beams last longer in a fire. And again, these lightweight materials, this lightweight wood, is really only a problem in a fire, which is why firefighters are really most at risk here. So the best advice for homeowners, just practice good fire safety. Have working smoke detectors. Make sure you have an escape plan. Be prepared. All right, Kent. Thank you. Sure.